Looks like I'm about to go on live television. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <sighs> live from St. Martin, this is Daniela. I've got my hair, it's a bit shorter than I'm used to having it. It'd be a great idea for me to not see myself right now. Guess what? Another successful day at sea. Okay, stay there. Can we take a moment to appreciate that I've got some peace and quiet for today's setup and as much as I tried to fight against filming in my room, I really appreciate being out in port and being able to record myself in the cabin when it comes to the things and the messages that I want to put across. Beautiful day at sea in between the Dominican Republic La Romana and uh, Phillipsburg St. Martin tomorrow. Just came back to my room after a day at work and I was so mentally prepared to do this but I've managed to smash a glass in the middle of my room just before so after putting up a sweat to rub the carpet and clean the glass we can now proceed to record this video in Romania it's presumed that broken glass brings good luck so may we share this good luck together I was reading through the latest questions that I've received and I can address them in a separate video. However, one of them particularly stood out when it comes to making a video on the day of, in the life of a cruise ship photographer and I thought this would be a great point. And I'll start with today. Today was a casual sea day and by casual I mean that um, on every day based on the entertainment on board the dress code of the day is decided and certain entertainment events are hosted around the theme of the day. These types of days are named differently depending on the cruise line. It can be celebration night, formal night, black tie night. Those are the elegant nights when there's a dress code for the main areas around the ship however the majority of the days are casual days depending on the type of cruise that you have on the management on the priorities on the length of the cruise casual sea days can look in more than one way depending on the size of the team there's a lot of variables so there's no one um, answer sums it all answer that i can give you however take it for us for example the priority was just to do some internal housekeeping in the first part of the day some internal organization for the later part of the evening we started doing shoots for the guests in the form of walking around the ship as well as doing portrait setups the photography department also has a photo gallery where guests go to see the photos they had taken or to collect the orders they had placed and just to get some general information about the service Services that we provide. So today certainly looked different for everyone across the team depending on their tasks, on their level of responsibility, on how many shoots we were assigned to do for the day of how the setup looked like and the post-production time as well as the delivering time for the guests. This kind of sounds like I'm answering the question but I'm not answering the question. However, the backbone of the business still implies photographing people, communicating with them how they can acquire the photos and what they can leave home with, then delivering, ensuring that the post-production and the delivering part of the business is taken care of and delivering it. If it wasn't clear for you at this stage, a photography role on cruise ships would imply that you photograph the passengers on board the ship. There are certainly all sorts of tasks and other jobs that you can have depending on the role division across different companies. However, this kind of sums it up. Now 
Now, if we've established that the process of photography is the same, it is very different to photography on land. I tend to compare a job in retail, for example, in shops, let's take a beauty shop, for example, that has certain beauty products. Regardless of how different the roles of the sales assistant is, it is the same on land compared to ships. And I'm not comparing the lifestyle and everything behind the scenes, I'm just comparing having your shop floor with the products at hand and then serving the guests or selling the items to the guests. Whereas in photography, the dynamic is completely different than the one of a photographer on land. To resume the conversation after the type of casual day we've had today, a full sea day, there are also port days. Again, depending on the cruise line, there's a good chance that you can have that port time free for yourself to enjoy the time off, off in port. However, there are a lot of cruise lines who do a lot of work in port. I'd say that compared to sea days, regardless of how much work you do on a casual port day, the port day does have more time off than the sea day does. If you've had the port time to yourself and then you come to work in the evening, then again, you would resume shooting one way or another, taking guests around the ship or setting up fixed studios taking the photos, processing them, processing the orders that have been placed throughout the day and delivering them. Moreover, there's plenty of training from either the company that you work for or the cruise ship or cruise ship related training that you need to attend. More than full sea days or casual port days, there are also the formal and celebration nights that I was telling you about. I cannot tell if this is a cross all cruise ships at all but this type of days happen on all the ships that I have worked for this formal sea days that I'm talking about refer more for the night period for the evening the first part of the sea day is a it's a casual normal sea day however in the evening the entertainment turns a bit more formal the there's a dress code to the evening which you know uh, long story short if all the passengers around the ship dress up and they look very presentable and in a more festive mood, we are there to capture their photos. From my experience, these are uh, consistently the most busy times for the photography department. Even if you've done wedding photography, I think formal nights can teach you something new and show you a different side of photography that you may have not known before. I hope this painted a picture of how a day in the life of a photographer can look like, but it's important to remember that this is on repeat for anywhere between four to nine months, depending on the length of the contract that you have. I'm sure that you've noticed the video inserts I've done with footage from La Romana, the Dominican Republic. Perhaps to paint the best picture that I could in this video, this is the point where I need to tell you that that was a random January, January, for some reason I cannot say January today, but that was a random January Wednesday at work when we had most of the day off, slept in, woke up for crew drills actually, waited for the crew drills to finish, went and took a taxi to the closest beach where we were for about four hours, took a taxi back, shot had dinner, chilled for a bit, and then we started work from about 5 until 11 at night. This is one of the things that was very difficult for me to explain to any of my friends, family, clients that I couldn't really replace. The beauty of the most random days in our lives. Thank you for being here. See you next time. <laughs>